Hi, I'm Chris, and um, in this video we're going to uh, learn how to change the colour of red cabbage using lemon juice, soap and other things you might have lying around the house. So um, first of all, we're going to um, chop it up and, and then get the juice out of it and then change the colour of that juice. So let's get cracking. So what we need is a red cabbage and some boiling water. Rather than just wasting that red cabbage that's not in the pot, let's blitz it up with some water and see if we can make some indicator that way too. So now we've made our red cabbage indicator, we need to test it and see what happens. So for the acid, we're going to just squeeze a lemon and for the alkali, just gonna get a little bit of toothpaste, put it in some water and then um, we can use that as our alkali. Now you've got your red cabbage indicator, your lemon juice and your toothpaste in water, you now need your well plate. So in each of those little wells, um, you can do um, little experiments. So we're going to put, fill three of them with red cabbage indicator. And then in the wells that you've just put red cabbage indicator in, in one of them, put a couple of drops of lemon juice. In another, put a couple of drops of the um, toothpaste water and see what colour changes occur. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then the same in another well. Yeah. Quite a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, and then you can do the next row. A, di a difference. Right, now we need to just put two drops of um, the toothpaste into one of the wells here. So. Over, over there, Bet. Try that one. Yep, yeah, that's enough. Have you seen it? Oh. It goes light blue. And then you put a couple of drops of lemon juice into that one. And see that goes a d deep red. How cool no, is that? No, pink. Yeah, how cool it's is that? Pink. Mm, do you like it? Yeah. Can we? As you can see, you don't need to cook the cabbage to make a um, good indicator. Um, but if you happen to be cooking red cabbage anyway, just keep the drained water and then you can use that as indicator. Now that we've learnt we can change the colour of red cabbage, we can now have a nice relaxing game of noughts and crosses. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make red cabbage indicator and how to use it to tell the difference between acids and alkalis. So you could try different things around the kitchen to see if they're acid and alkali, or try some soap, or just experiment. Um, but be careful um, when using things like bleach, because they can be quite dangerous. So get an adult to help with those. Okay, cheers, have fun, bye bye. If you don't have well plates or um, the pipettes like this, you can always use um, a normal plate and then syringes such as this one um, comes with children's medicine. Um, so the only difference is really, um, you've just got to make sure that the droplets are really well separated to avoid mixing. And then you can use um, a spoon uh, to add the liquids again, just use a little bit. So this is the toothpaste water. So you can add that to the cabbage indicator. You see it just runs all over the place, but you can see the colour change. And then we've got uh, the lemon juice here. So we can add that. And you can see the colour change occurring, but because it's not a well plate, they're not carefully contained. But